silver now we are based on daily chart okay silver as we can see the price break the top and drop now the question is whether this one can continue and come to break this low at least or we should expect the price to reverse and before it drop know that the I mean we, the only things I want to mention how long we want to will be within this correction before we take the I mean we 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 get the down move whether the price from here can drop or we share we can expect the price can move a bit higher in this case we move to forward chart as we can see we have this sharp move and the correction now the thing is whether we can get the correction here and how long we will be within this correction that's mean whether we can get the down move sell set up or the price from here we can expect the reverse and come to this level before it drop but what we are more interested we are more interested in the down move that's mean we get the correction and we get the sell now the things is how we can trade it based on forward chart we don't have the I mean we we don't have the trade setup based on the correction we have it in this case if I move to one hour chart alright first uh, because just now we mentioned first of all we are more interested in the down move we want to see how we can trade it also we mentioned about the possibility that the, there is a possibility the price come to this high before it drop um, overall I want to see we want to see how long we will be this correction and even if we didn't um, I mean even if the price didn't move to this high how high I mean deep this correction can be okay in this case first we talk about the sell how we can trade the sell the first thing is if we want to get the sell we need to wait the price is better with the price come and to break this high at least to this high then we have one two three we get the correction then any sell setup from there we can take it this is the first option if the price from here can move up move up this means it, we didn't drop more than what we have I mean it the possibility drop a bit more is there but it doesn't test this low okay the first thing if the price come here break the top how high it go we are not sure then from there any sell setup we take it and when the price come to this level we see if there is a continuation we keep if this is not moving we take out the trade the another way for the sell how about if the price continue and drop come to this level at that times we need to wait for the, the price to come to this top we get the correction here different type of the correction then from there we look for the sell that's mean if we want to look for sell if the price re didn't come to this low we will have the correction similar to what I'm drawing here the another type of the correction is that the price whether sharp or correct in terms of the corrective come to this level somewhere near to the low reverse then from there is drop okay this is how we can sell we are not going to sell within this range I don't think so we can get the sell setup as well that's why to be safe let the price come to this high then from there if we get a sell setup we take the trade okay beside this we want to talk about the buy how we can trade the buy because we see there is a possibility the price reverse and come to this tag the top as we can see we have the sharp move and the correction in this case my move to 15 minute chart okay as we can see if we have this correction any buy setup within this range we can take it whether if the price drop come to this level it can give us a better space to trade okay or if the price continue to go move from here anyway we look for the trade setup we see whether the if the price move from here I don't think we can get the trade setup the only option is having entry below this sorry entry above this that means we can expect the price move fast if the price come and tag this is not moving take with the trade but if the price drop see whether within this range we can get the uh, trade setup or not okay how about if the price break this low and come lower then I think uh, we are not going to look for buy uh, if the price come somewhere around here or tag the, the top I'm uh, sorry take the low in that case we can look for how we explain based on the sell we can look for buy but this is not the one we expecting to go and tag the top when I talk about the top at least here okay anyway if you wanna trade for buy based on what we have if we get a trade setup we can trade if the price drop 
we see whether we can get a trade setup or having a trade above this but if drop and go lower they are then we are not going to use this correction that's mean if the price comes somewhere around here or take this low then we are not going to trade this one for buy we need to look for the different way different strategy and as we say just now because we talk uh, explain about how we're going to trade for sell and how we're going to trade for buy I mean how we can trade it but the thing says may we combine if we get any trade set up for buy first of all that's mean we should look for buy because for sell we have two options whether the price come to this high we get the sell from the top or the price come to here reverse then we get the flat okay in this case we can do this we can trade this way if we get any buy setup within this correction we take the trade and if we see the trade is moving fast we keep it it's not moving it's in moving the term of the corrective we tickle the trade when the price come and break this higher and move higher when it is is not moving fast it's correct i mean it's correct uh, in term of the corrective how corrective is it we need to see then if it is not moving we tickle the trade i mean the buy and then if we get any sell setup we look for sell that's mean we can uh, at the same times first we look for buy if it's move that's mean if the price move fast and take this high we can keep the trade it's good for us we can at least have the buy but if this is not moving we take out the trade and then from there we can look for sell because as i mentioned if we the price is going to correct here we are not sure how long we i mean the correction will be we, we, i mean the correction will be there and how high it can go anyway if we get the buy that's why if we get the buy we want to we trade for buy as well in case the price come to this high or may it can give us some profit may the price can go a bit higher before we the price drop anyway uh, before we make it a uh, bit i mean become more confusion i mean b before we takes uh, it makes traders uh, confused uh, we just wait and see what we get here then from there we trade it in this case if i see any trade setup any confirmation then uh, i will uh, share on youtube but the things i want to mention here is that any trade whether buy or sell we need to have a proper money management because both of them can happen even the price can drop the we have both possibility the down move or up move that's why we talk about it, both of them and how we can trade it anyway trade with cares and hopefully we can get a good trade things